Alright, hey, what's up guys? This is Broha, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings for Aver Media Center 3D. Now, this is a software program that's used with most Aver Media capture cards that I know of, and the settings I'm going to be showing you are used for the newest ones, and mine specifically that I am using is the Aver Media Broadcaster HD, but it, this is good with any of the newer Aver Media Center cards. Alright, so first you're going to want to open up Avery Media Center 3D, duh. Alright, and head over to the Settings tab. Now, there's not much you have to configure. It's pretty general stuff. Um, I recommend first in the general settings is configuring your storage. You might only have one hard drive, you might not, but I have two hard drives. I one, run one on an OS, one for my OS, which isn't that big, and then one for my, all my other stuff. And so, you have to configure that first. Um, so by just clicking this, hitting change discs, uh, hitting the disc you want to select it on, and then going to find that, and then finding that place, and then hitting OK, and just saving it. And God, now I fucked mine up. All right, change disc D, and then, um, and I have it saved in my movies tab, and in my recorded, and you just hit OK, and then save. All right, that's. A general thing for the the only thing you really else need is the capture settings hit capture go over to configure input configure recording all right so with the recording format you do have various choices but I recommend MPEG 2 I've just always generally found it as the highest quality I Avi and H264 I'd say are okay as well um, then you want to hit edit and the first thing is video size um, now, you're either going to want to use 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080 because that gives the six by, 16 by 9 screen size. Um, they're both HD, but you're only going to capture it 1920 by 1080 as if you have a 1080p monitor or TV, and I don't, so I have to use the 1280 by 720. Which is, it's still HD though, so it's not decreasing the quality that much. Um, for the video quality, I have mine at 40,000, and that is the highest you can get it to, at least for the Broadcaster HD. Um, I recommend whatever capture card you have is just typing in a ridiculous number, and then it'll show you the highest and lowest it can go, and putting it at the highest. Um, when I, when, I think my default one was like 25,000, but I moved that up to 40,000, uh, just because it's going to give you the best quality. It is going to make the file size a lot bigger. But now with YouTube's 20 gigabyte video limit, it it really doesn't matter how big your video is nowadays. Um, so and then for audio sample rate, I have it at as high as 48,000, and audio quality high as at 384. Then you want to hit save, save, and that's really it. Um, in another video, I'm going to show you how to like configure your capture card, uh, but for now, that's not what this video's purpose is about. It's showing the quality of these settings. And so now I'm going to show you guys a few clips of how this quality looks overall with these settings. We 
should get out of here as soon as possible. multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. Alert! Covenant dropship in... I'm reading a lifeboat beacon over the next hill. We should check to see if there are any survivors. <laughs> 